people, when they hear the word charcoal, they just want to run away. They think charcoal is a nightmare. They don't want to get involved with it. It's messy, it smudges. But I'm here today to try and change your mind a little bit. I want to show you that charcoal isn't that bad. It's not the enemy. You don't get that horrible shine that you get with graphite. It gets actually darker values than you can get with graphite, I've found. It also is a lot quicker. It blends a lot easier, so it's great for things like skin tones and portraits. In this video, I'm gonna be going through my techniques for how you can apply the charcoal and how you can use it, how you can create the highlights and all of that sort of stuff. Before we start, I'm gonna go through the materials that I like to use for my charcoal drawings. So I just use two pencils, a 2B and a 2H. I also use some blending stumps to blend the charcoal out, and I use a variety of sizes. For the highlights, I love to use the Tombow Mono Eraser, but any stick eraser will do. And for blending, again, I like to use some paint brushes. So step one in my process is that I really like to block in the darkest values first. And I use the 2B pencil for this. So the 2B charcoal pencil is great for getting in those dark shadows and just blocking in those dark areas. It's great if you wanna use it on the paintbrush to blend some of the lighter midtone values as well, like I'm doing now. And so this is step two. Step two is using your paintbrush or your blending stump if you want to, to actually smudge some of those values, some of that charcoal from those darker areas into your more mid-toned and light areas. And this is great for getting those lighter values, which can be hard to do with charcoal. So I would avoid adding the charcoal directly to the paper for those lighter areas. I would just use the paintbrush and some of that excess charcoal. So now we're going into step three and that is adding the details. And to add the details, I love to use the 2H charcoal pencil because it's a lot harder. So it's great for those details. And then I'm also gonna go in with that 2B pencil and add a second layer of our shadows just to really darken everything up. You wanna get a great contrast in your piece. So I just build it up in layers as well. And then once I've got that layer in, it's time to blend it again. But instead of using the paintbrush, I am using the blending stump for this layer because I find that it helps keep everything dark. Sometimes the paintbrush can lighten the areas a bit because it can wipe off some of the charcoal and pick it up into the bristles, whereas the blending stump helps keep it nice and dark. And then the fifth step is to add in the highlights. And to do this, I like to use my Tombow Mono Eraser, but any stick eraser will do. And I'm just using that very lightly to pull up some of the highlights and add a great contrast to your piece. And contrast is so important and it's really good and easy to achieve with charcoal because of the fact that you can get those really dark values and it's nice and matte, there's no shine to it and you can also pull up any highlights that you need to. And the final thing that I then do is I just make any adjustments and then I basically just repeat that process for every area in the drawing. Like with the nose, I'm starting off with a 2B pencil, blocking in those dark values, but I'm going in with the blending stump instead of the paintbrush to actually blend it for the first time because when, when there's like dark areas, I just go straight in with the blending stump. But paintbrushes are great for adding those lighter values because of the fact that you can limit how much charcoal you actually have on your brush you can wipe off pretty much all of the charcoal so that you can get those really light values and so if you've got an area which you need to just have like a tint of charcoal but pretty much keep it white then you don't want to go straight in with the charcoal you just want to use the paintbrush add a little bit on that wipe off the excess and just dust that over that area I then use the Tombow Mono Eraser just to add in some highlights and tissue is a great way to blend as well because it can lighten up areas but it also can help just like soften areas so that it's not so harsh because those little details I added with the Tombow Mono Eraser you know there's a bit too much contrast so I just blend blended over everything just to make it a bit softer and so it all like blurs into each other a bit better. Like I said before, because the areas I'm working on now are pretty dark, that's again why I went in straight away with the blending stump rather than the paintbrush. And I'm also using the blending stump directly in some cases just to get in a bit of smudging and add some value. 
Now moving on to the blurry background and charcoal is a great medium to use for creating that soft out of focus blurry background. So I'm just layering up some of that charcoal and I just blended it with the tissue and I just kept it very soft and what's great about charcoal is the fact that it does blend nice and easily and it's great for layering and building up as well. It works really well with layering. And so to finish this off I'm just adding all of the little fur details with the Tombow Mono Eraser. I find that the Tombow Mono Eraser is amazing for fur. If you want to see how I did this drawing in real time then make sure you check it out on my Patreon, a link will be in the description and at the end because you can watch me do this in real time with voiceover every step of the way. As well as this drawing there are hundreds of other tutorials on there for you guys in lots of different mediums all in real time with voiceover so I definitely recommend checking that out. Anyway guys, I hope I've changed your mind a little bit with charcoal, I hope I've persuaded you to give it a go and see what it's all about. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new around here. Comment below, have I changed your mind? Do you love using charcoal or are you going to give it a go now? But that is it for me and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye everybody.